Hello, uh, we will explain the paper about the mix design with response to your face methodology to optimize the flexural strengths of concrete. Uh, as a content, uh, we have the introduction, background, the methodology, data analysis, results, and conclusions. Experiments uh, are made uh, based on concrete. Uh, present in their great majority the presence of structural and superficial features. These have become a problem regarding its functionality and the useful life in terms of the level of service to the vehicles that circulate by these routes. The reasons are many. Among the most relevant, uh, we can name the mix design for concrete and the method uh, of making the cloth of material use it, the quantity of proportion of the components, and others. So the latter is constitutes the objective of the investigation. It is observed that the methods used at the present time are the conventional ones that do not allow the necessary adjustment to be made to the materials and their performance in order to achieve optimum levels in terms of dosage and as a product greater resistance to bending, call it the brake module. So, the manufacturing method frequently had to the American Concrete Institute, ACI, as the dosage is very rigid and closed. It does not allow modifications to, the, to be made to the components, such as cement, aggregated water additives, and others. For this, it is necessary to resort to the other methods that give the possibility of manipulating these independent variables and with the hypothesis of reaching optimum levels the mechanical properties of the concrete. For this, it is necessary to use the experimental design uh, that is based on the practical methodology and the use of logical reasoning. It is possible to adjust both the quantity of materials and the resistance to flexion even more optimal. So, uh, in a deterministic simulation models have the characteristics of being a technique for solving practical problems, such as an overall change of the variables over time and experimental models are an approximation to the real system. From the above, there is a need to repeat multiple uh, simulation runs. Consequently, this use of investigation should be planned as a series of experiments that lead to significant interpretations of the relationships of interest. Uh, in this graphic, we can see uh, the graphic method of ACI mix design. So, uh, performing calculation for design, use the empirical calculation to obtain the initial proportions. But uh, we continue preparing the mixture, checking the initial settlements. Yeah. Is this it's correct? Okay. If no complaint. And the, the comply is yes, we prepare the mixture evaluating the initial resistance. So in this case, if, the, if we are the complaint, is it has the final proportions. If you know, it has to be correct and again prepare the, the test mixture, evaluating the initial resistance. Uh, as a theoretical framework or framework, uh, we have the we based our studies in, in the book of. The Montgomery in 1995-1991 in uh, probability and statistic applies to the engineering. That said that the experimentation is a natural part of engineering and decision-making process in scientific research. Cole in 2001 in his book Design of Experiments describes that the objective of the experimental designs excluded describing the response to treatment factors. So in figure two, we can see the sequence sequence of M MSR, uh, the design of Montgomery experiments. 
Uh, Box and Dropper in 1987 promoted the application of the response surface analysis in industrial applications. The idea was to carry out sequential experiments with the aim of determining the optimal conditions to solve the problems. Uh, as a methodology, we used uh, the response surface methodology. MSR that was uh, used in this research modeling the, the holistic approach that allows us to postulate the form of the objective function, update uh, and limit the values of the parameters, as well as explore and approach the region close to the optimal estimate. In accordance with the logical procedures of the scientific research, Avila mentions that the set of systematic procedures of operations and prefixes rules to reach a proposal result. However, according to Aris in 1999, recommendation this quantitative research must comply with the five stages of scientific method described in the figure shown here. So, this uh, figure we have the scheme of the design, comparative design. We have the cause and effect. Uh, the cause as, as independent variable. Uh, we have the application, okay, and the conventional treatment. And the effect is that we have the dependent variable are the results that we are waiting to have with using the the pretest and post-test, measuring the difference. Okay, as a design, we have the experimental group and the control group, uh, y, x, and y, x, four. Uh, as we have the data, so uh, according to the ACI. Um, which uh, that share the commitment to the search for the best use of concrete according to the procedure of this method we get the proportions of the components that show in, in the, the table the following table about the typical dosification of concrete method where we mm, do a uh, mix uh, cement sand grave and water and the proportions of humidity and absorptions in percentage and kilograms. So the, the same values for missing the components for one cubic meter and in a tensile strength of the concrete uh, 280 kilograms uh, by centimeter square according to the laboratory report specified in the, in the table 2, where we have the tender uh, with the components, the water, cement, uh, fine aggregate, and thick aggregate in a total of 2,330 kilograms. Uh, so the metal moles for the beams are 0 0.15 times 0 0.15 meters in section and half meter in length and the volume volume of uh, 0 0.013 meters cubic. Okay, we have the center mold. Uh, in data, data analysis, also according to the Mexican Institute of Transportation, the breaking modulus MR now like a fractional strength ASTM C78 is the maximum tensile stress for rupture to occur during the flexing test in the simple supporting concrete being. So we have here the head of the machine to the test and we have here the steel ball and we have the base, the rigid base uh, with the distance that has to be between these uh, components. So this is an effect of the fatigue cracking potential 
of concrete slabs and the giving magnitudes of repeated flexural stress of the tension. And as a result, uh, we have uh, at the first phase at the MSR, um, an attempt was made to find the suitable approximation of the true functional relationship between the response. So we have in this table number three, the factors of levels to investigate and the table for the fractional factorial design. As a result, also we have the, the results of the, the experimental combinations with the run the factors um, on by the different components, cement, sand, stone, fiber, water. And the table say shows the lecture of resistance of the flexion of prismas. Uh, also, as a result, we have the control graph and we have the control graph on 3D that is clear, clearly observed that the evaluating the effect of the two factors, the optimal area in the first stage is still extensive and wide. Um, the factorial design uh, to power K, we have complete the factorial design matrix with um, ABC components and the dosification with factorial design. So, uh, is to say that A different treatments are detailed, taking into account the main effects of A, B, and C, uh, three double interactions, A, B, A, C, and B, C, in one triplet interactions. Uh, the experimental region defines the geometric representation of the signs. Well, involves a regular cube center and the origin whose vertices uh, correspond to the eight treatments with or without repetitions. Uh, also, we have uh, shown the round five in the design of the gate that gave the best results regarding the flexural strengths that will be the design to continue optimizing in the first stage considering the factors that influence the test in these stages. Also, we have the hexagonal design with the model of the factors. This is a rotatable uh, designs predict in all the directions from a central point where the other experimental points are a constant distance from the central point. Um, this here, we have the flexural strength readings that are detailed, uh, including from the, the control group, where it is observed that the fifth design at, achieves the best resistance compared with the control group, according to the week, weekly maturation. So we have also this uh, graphic, which shows the group dispersion and the difference in resistance groups. As a result, we have the maximum performance is achieved with the cement dosage of 360.90 as a minimum uh, 863 of time aggregate as a constant value, with which a modulus of 45.27 is reached. It is most common in the area. So as conclusion, have that the range considered with respect to the direct tensile strengths with comprehensive uh, strengths for the concrete uh, are made with aggregates from the Manzaro River for Portland Cement, Taiwan, uh, were considered between 201 kilograms uh, by centimeter square and 220 kilograms over 2 centimeter square and are the range of the experimental that they allow it to expand uh, the surface of optimal levels in terms of the volumes of the materials besides the extension of the working range can reduce the consumption of materials. So the response of the surface methodology is an extremely versatile technique that allows the use of different experimental designs and statistical tools. Thank you very much.